we can go a long way with these systems. And but I think there are certain things we can't do without full integration of, of, of hypercycle. So what what we can do with singularity net and do even better with singularity integrated with a uh, with ocean fetch nuna and, and other tools we can create an ai system and eventually an agi system which has no central owner or controller and it's splayed out into pieces that are running in different machines all around the internet and we can use this to help explore hybrid agi architectures where one node is running a logic engine one node is running an evolutionary learning engine one end is running an llm one end is running some new thing that I never heard of, right? And we have a, a abstract interface that different AIs running on different machines can can use to communicate their properties, to exchange, exchange data, to make requests to each other. You can then have intelligence sort of crystallize at an emergent level from the interaction of these different AI agents running on different machines, owned and controlled by different people, right? And this this is this is the original notion of, of singularity net. Current blockchains are slow and expensive. And what, what, what it means is you have to have a fairly chunky AI node, right? So you, you have to like put a lot of AI processing inside each node. But let, let me proceed to hypercycle, which is, which is more the point at hand, because what we would like to do is have millions to billions of very small AI agents and have AI agents creating new AI agents at a very rapid frequency, embodying new AI ideas so that you don't need to have sort of chunky AI agents with gigabytes of RAM and persistent connections between each other. You want to be able to have teeny tiny AI agents that pop up new connections with each other all the time. And then those connections can, 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 di can disappear rapidly. We can make a genetic algorithm population inside an AI node. And, and there might be a hundred thousand or a million different little candidate solutions inside that AI node. Then you can have migration of some population elements from one AI node to another. So each AI node is like an island where, where a bunch of, of, of population elements live. It's cool, right? It, 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 it's amazing. It's better than Google or, or Microsoft or Apple can do or Facebook with a centralized server farm. On the other hand, what I would like to do is have each individual candidate solution in the evolving population be on chain and be its own little agent, right? So that then when, when a candidate solution is evaluated against an objective function, it mutates and it mutates into another AI agent, which is on chain. When two AI agents cross over, they cross over to form another AI agent, which, 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 which is on chain, right? So to put this evolving population of AI agents on, on the blockchain, you're decentralizing things way further. And what, what that means is like some candidate solutions bred by me and some candidate solutions bred by you as separate owners could cross breed, right? And so, so with, with, without you needing like a, a single node, which is the sort of vivarium in which they're, they're crossbreeding. The, the vivarium is, 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 is the internet, right? So I think for that, you need something like hypercycle and hypercycle is the only thing like hypercycle that, 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 that I know of, right? Like for that, you need to get rid of the ledger because if you're having these tiny little AI agents doing AI operations on chain, it's totally infeasible to have every on-chain interaction they have written to some replicated ledger, even with hierarchical sharding or, or other similar strategies. You need to get rid of the ledger and you need to get rid of the ledger in a very flexible way so that you have customizable consensus. So you can say for this population of AI agents that are evolving by a genetic algorithm, I'm going to put a specific ledgerless consensus mechanism here which is suitable for the needs of, the, of this evolving population right and so hypercycle gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of making like microservice ai agents where their interactions are, are on chain and if you're looking for ai to sort of pop out at the emergent level among the interaction of a whole bunch of, of different ai agents that can happen way better if your AI, individual AI agents are, are scaled down in a way that, that hypercycle allows. And this, I mean, this was a vision that 
Sufi Dan and I talked about in the early days of sort of ideating right. what was what was to become hypercycle, like bringing together singularity net AI with with with, with the the Toda framework and the the financial tools that that Tufi has created and the software frameworks Tufi and Dan the team have created for hypercycle are they're fantastic it it might be uh, suitable for a lot of people that are actually partaking in that creation of those nodes because here's the thing we didn't really uh, say to the world guess what guys we're going to own the internet of AI we're going to own all of those uh, synapses that's not what we did what we did, Hypercycle enabled everyone, literally everyone who is can hear this and watch this, they have the capability to partake in that creation of that internet guy, whether they want to be just like folks that they do the work, whether they want to be buying certain nodes and let others do the work or do the, the combination, which means it enables everyone to start building those nodes and let them grow by taking in consideration certain algorithmic elements that they cannot be reversed, which is we've talked about like earlier. So that component, we know it's not like that we've, we've launched or whatnot. People are using it. They're like, it's there. That component is there. Sure. It's already it's, it's selling, it's but like the component that services the AGI, that's not there. <laughs> that's, mm -hmm. that, I want to make sure that you, you, we confirm that because uh, uh, it kind of got some confusion yeah, I, I mean, obviously, the hypercycle team under your and Dan's leadership has built a lot of code, and you're able to host AI engines serving very, very various different different functions. I, I mean, yeah, in terms of hypercycle enabling a big leap beyond what we can do with Singularity Net on that, on other blockchains. We don't have that have that yet. That that that's still in the works. I, I would say I'm I'm also looking forward to a rich software integration of Hypercycle with Singularity Net platform, and and then with the, with the with the new Net decentralized deployment framework. And pretty much we can't do that until there's a public open source version. Of, of the key parts of, 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 of